My name is Jake, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I wanna talk about living off of my dividend portfolio and what it's like day to day. As I mentioned last week, I'm gonna be traveling from Austin up to Utah here these last couple of weeks. And so this week I'm actually gonna be on the road. So I recorded this video in advance, but I wanted to share with you something that I think might be really interesting. If you're thinking about living off your dividend portfolio or financial independence, I wanna talk about something that's pretty interesting. So when I was working as a sales manager in my career, people would always ask me in an interview, what does a typical day in the life look like for this role? And in today's video, I wanna share with you some of the typical things that I see or what a typical day in the life of living off of dividends looks like for me. Living off of dividends can be different for every single person. Okay, depending on where you're at, if you're here in the US or you know somewhere outside of the US, if you're living in a big city or on a farm, living off of dividends is one of the most amazing things in the world. At least it's been for me. It's hard to explain how amazing it really is, but if I had to put it into words, what it's like, it would look a little like this. confused as to why I showed you that clip. That clip was from Hobbiton from The Lord of the Rings. When I first watched The Lord of the Rings or, you know, The Fellowship of the Rings back in 2001, I was 15 years old. I still remember going to the movie theater, getting my popcorn and experiencing The Lord of the Rings in action and seeing all of the hype around it. That was back, you know, I think uh, Harry Potter came shortly you know, right around that time. So you had Harry Potter, you had Lord of the Rings back in the early 2000s. I didn't have a care in the world. I was 15 years old. I wasn't driving. It was, you know, a time when I was too young and too naive to realize what, what life was really all about. When I reached financial independence last year, it was like I time traveled back in time to a time in my life when I was carefree and worry-free. And that's really how it feels like for me. If I were to explain what it's like to be financially independent and a day in the life, it's like going through life without a care in the world. When I reached financial independence, I was no longer working my nine to five job. I was no longer commuting an hour in the morning and an hour at night just to drive 10 miles because you live in a really busy, crowded city like Austin, Texas. So. When I reached financial independence, I was I effectively gained 50 hours a week. I got 50 hours a week back in my life. And so some of the things when I think about a day in the life of living off of dividends for me, you know, I spend most of my time doing the same stuff that I did before, but I've realized that I'm just doing more of it. You know, I, I've gained a few new hobbies. I've gained a few new pounds, I'm sure as well. Uh, that kind of goes well together. But I've noticed that I'm not, I don't have very many new hobbies. I still have the same interests that I did before. The difference is I have more time, more time to enjoy them. And so, for example, I obviously loved watching TV or watching TV series like, you know, Game of Thrones or Breaking Bad, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, or, you know, The Boys or you know, all that new stuff. I, I, I love that. Um, a little bit different. But I noticed that, you know, before when I was working, I maybe had like an hour a day to watch a series or a show. Now I have so much more time to watch more series. I used to play video games while I was working. Guess what? I play more video games now. I have more time to spend on something like playing video games if I want to. You know, I used to go to the gym before work or on my lunch break. 
guess what? I go to the gym longer now. I'm able to sit there and you know be on my phone in between sets and not have to rush. And so I've noticed a day in the life of living off of dividends for me is I really have the same hobbies and interests that I did before. I just now have more time to enjoy them and spend more time on them. You know, another thing that comes to mind when I think about a day in the life of, of living off my dividend portfolio is even though I'm not reinvesting my dividends or adding additional money to my portfolio, which is sad. I wish I could do that. I, I definitely miss that. I still look at my dividend portfolio on a regular basis. I still look at my finances. I look at our expenses. Nothing has changed there. That doesn't go away. I'm an optimizer at heart, so I'm constantly looking for ways to improve my portfolio, my allocation, my risk tolerance, all of that good stuff. I'm constantly thinking about optimizing our finances when, when it comes to taxes, saving money. So let me give you an example. So now I, you know, I go to the store, but now I have a little bit more time and so I can actually be a little bit more conscious about what I'm buying and what I'm spending. And I've noticed, you know, when you go to the grocery store, all of your expensive items are up top or in the middle. If you get down on your knees, a lot of people don't bend down because we just can't bend in America. I don't know what it is. But if you go down on the lower shelves, you'll notice that there's a lot of other stuff down there. I know it's wild and unbelievable. And so if you look down on the lower shelves, you're going to notice maybe some off brands or, you know, the uh, HEB brands or the Target or Walmart brands or whatever, like the, uh, the Kirkland brands. You'll notice that those brands are cheaper. And so I've definitely noticed that I'm more conscious about what I spend my money on. And so when I think about this new phase of life that I'm in, I've noticed that I live a lot simpler life than I did before. And I choose to live this simple life. I don't have very many appointments, you know, aside from creating YouTube videos and, you know, doing research around different topics and, you know, research around different topics, meaning the, the memes, the majority of my time goes to the memes. And that, that's like my pride and joy. What I love so much about this channel is just like the randomness. And I hope you can appreciate that. If you can't, that's cool. That's fine. You, you know, you don't have to watch my channel. That's cool. But if you do appreciate it, I, I put a lot of love in, in those. Uh, it's like the, my favorite part of the week, a huge highlight of my week is, is putting those corny, stupid little clips together and just imagining somebody out there just randomly watching them and being like, what did I, what, what just happened? WTF? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I, I don't spend a lot of money on fancy things. I'm a pretty simple person and uh, that has not changed much before and after living off my dividend portfolio. So the next thing that I want to talk about here is with routines. I am a huge routine guy. I was a, I loved my routine while working. I had to have a routine while working full time, but even more so now while, you know, not having to work full time and having more time on my hands, I'm a huge fan of routines. And it's it's easy to get lazy and to put things off. I always find myself saying that's future Jake's problem. <laughs> <laughs> and so having a routine has really helped me and it's helped me to, you know, not put things off, especially things around the house, right? If there's any projects that I want to do, that's definitely been a help. And, you know, for example, when I record my videos on Wednesday, I'm dialed in. I set my, my day for, you know, when I, on Wednesdays generally is when I record my videos and edit them. I look forward to it every week and it's something that I, I really enjoy. You know, I go to the gym on certain days of the week. I generally don't do it sporadic. I try to set a specific time and day when I, I will go during the week. And, you know, for example, when I'm up in Utah, I will go hiking on certain days. Uh, another thing that I really like is around our food and, you know, when we either meal prep or when we make pizza, like for example, we have pizza every single Friday. That's kind of our thing. We, we love doing that. And, you know, we usually have our cheat meal, like we'll go to Chick-fil-A or, or something like that on Saturday. That's something that we really enjoy. And so, you know, living off of dividends for me, you know, in this new lifestyle, in this new phase, it's, you know, routines are a huge part of it. And so if you haven't thought about that, um, you will quickly find that you're going to need a routine in early retirement. Believe me. When I think about the day to day, the day to day is really what I make of it. Like there are certain days where I don't want to do anything and that's okay. I can be as active or as lazy as I want to be. And I don't stress it. I don't worry about it. It's like, okay, whatever. And unless there's like something pressing and I have to get it done, there's like a time constraint around it. 
I generally, it's like, okay, whatever. I, I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm in pretty even keel when it comes to that. And I try to use my calendar for certain things. Like I, before when I was working, I was a slave to my calendar. And now I try to put, I have to put things on my calendar. Otherwise I forget. I'm constantly asking my wife, is today Thursday? Is today Tuesday? What, what is, what's today? Because the days kind of blend together. And I, I actually like that personally. And I'm sure not everybody's going to be in the same boat as me. But I do enjoy the fact that I don't know that it's a Monday morning and I dread going to work. Like I, I don't have that anymore. Like I genuinely, that Sunday night, oh, I got to go to work tomorrow. I don't have that. And I'm just realizing it now as I'm, I'm saying this, that, oh, wow, that is actually really, really cool. I kind of forgot about that. I kind of forgot about that. And that's definitely a, a nice thing. Yeah, that, that is definitely a thing. The, the Sunday nights, Monday morning dread, don't have that anymore for sure. The last thing that I want to say when it comes to, you know, uh, a day in the life of living off of my dividend portfolio in this new phase of life that I'm in, you know, I've found that the struggles that I had before, they don't magically go away, right? Like if you're struggling to lose weight or if you're struggling to be active, trust me, you're still going to have that struggle in early retirement. That doesn't go away. And I've found that I've developed a, a new mindset that has really helped me. And I, I want to share that with all of you, because I think a lot of you, if you're, if you struggle to do stuff, like to actually, actually come around and doing something like maybe going to the gym or, you know, cleaning up that your, your yard or just, you know, those mundane chores or just dumb things that, you know, you have to do, but you just don't want to do it. I found that, you know, I would often catch myself convincing myself of why not to do something. And whenever I would think about, you know, I got to do something or, hey, this is probably something I should do. My immediate thought was all of the reasons why I can't do it or why I shouldn't do it or why I'm unable to do it. Oh, it's bad weather. Oh, I'm not feeling so well. Oh, it's OK. I'll do it tomorrow. And, and I fell in kind of this spiral of having that mindset of convincing myself of all the reasons why I can't do something. And that goes across the board with everything in life. And this new mindset that I have is I've found that there's, I created this new motto for myself that instead of making excuses of why I can't do something, I've started to make an excuse of why I can do something or why I should do something. And that has been a, a game changer for me. You know, thinking about going to the gym, oh, I don't want to go to the gym because this is like, well, no, this is a priority. This is a lifestyle choice of mine. I'm going, to, I should, I need to do this because, you know, and making the excuse to do something instead of not to do something. And that alone has changed my outlook on, on how I see things entirely. And so I, I just wanted to share that with you and, and I, it's really, really helped me. And, and I think it, it may help some of you out there that maybe struggle with that as well. Because at the end of the day, what it comes down to is understanding what are your priorities. If it's a priority of yours, you're going to do it. If it's not a priority, you're not going to do it, right? It's kind of like, you know, when, you, when you're dating and if somebody texts you or calls you or messages you, it's because they like you. They, they're interested in you. If they don't text you or if they're not interested in you, guess what? They're not going to be interested in you. And if somebody cares about you, they're going to make time for you regardless and or no matter what, because you're a priority. And, and I kind of tie that into other things in life. Like if something is a priority, I'm going to do it. If something's not a priority, I'm not going to do it. It's going to get lost and, you know, kind of go to the back of my, my to-do list and kind of slowly fizzle away. Whether the example of with dating or with, with anything, if something is a priority in your life, you're going to find a way to do it. And if it's not, then it's not a priority and it's okay to let go and focus on things that are a priority. Okay. And so that's something that I've found and that I've learned here, you know, with having this extra time, these extra 50 hours a week. I'm not trying to get all philosophical on you or anything like that. I just thought that I would share that with you. Next week, I'm going to be back on a more regular schedule. I have a really exciting video scheduled for next week. 
Um, so it's going to be different than I've anything I've ever done. And it's I, I think it's going to be a really, really cool video. So uh, make sure that you check out next week's video. I will see you then. Please subscribe. 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 Please subscribe. 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 You know what? I think we're going to be friends. Can everyone say hi to my friend? That's crazy. I just wanted to say thanks. I'm glad you came along, partner.